Hi, my name is Patrick Miles, and I'm playing Silas in Mind the Gap. Um, Silas is quite an enigmatic character. No one really knows where he came from, how he got there, and indeed where he's actually going. Um, I think he's really quite interesting because, uh, precisely because he seems to be this enigma, uh, and therefore it kind of gives you uh, free reign to uh, do what you want with him. Uh, he's uh, he can be quite volatile. He can turn on a sixpence. He seems to be really interested in in the world around him, and kind of uh, he seems to be like a sponge with information. Anything that happens, he wants to know more about it. Uh, but that does seem to cloud his judgment on occasion, um, whereby just finding out as much as he possibly can about these people who have entered his world is and sometimes more important to him than being sympathetic to them, uh, which is an interesting kind of uh, op uh, you know, um, juxtaposition of, uh, of his reactions to the other characters. Um, I've learned quite a lot this week, actually, and speaking to some of the experts, like Richard Ashcroft, was just fascinating. I didn't even know there was such a job as a bioethicist. Um, uh, what interested me the most was not so much the, the, uh, the medical um, uh, conditions and the, and, and the new uh, treatments for them. It's uh, the ethics of how and when they should be used. Uh, which I think is, is interesting because then you get into areas of philosophy and not just medicine. Um, and uh, uh, you want to be careful you don't. Well, uh, we mentioned the book Brave New World a couple of times with Richard and about how if you constantly are going for this uh, perfect society, this utopian society where everyone is perfect and they're, and they're all you know drugged up to the hilt and they have pills for absolutely everything, um, it's not necessarily a good thing, and you can lose touch with what it is to be human. Obviously, that's 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 one extreme, um, and there are far more practical uses of all this, or all, all these medicine that can improve uh, the day-to-day -day lives of um, of normal people. Um, but just the when and where it, th th these should be used, and how much free reign we should give scientists, um, is uh, it's a very interesting ethical question. So that's been fascinating this week.